How's it going guys? Welcome back to this exciting series where we're implementing a production level authentication system using React, Redux, and Django. So in the last section, we implemented the password reset. And then in this section, I'm going to finish off by doing the sign up functionality and also doing the activating your account. So let's get right to it. So let's go ahead. Also, one thing I'm again running the front end and I'm also running the back end just so I can see if I make any mistakes as I'm typing along. So let's go ahead and open up our auth action here. And then I guess right below this login, I'm going to do the sign up. And then I'm also going to have to have a few more states here. So I'm just going to copy these paste down here. And this is going to be for the sign up. So sign up success and sign up fail. And then also going to have the um, activation. So so activation success and activation fail. And then I can also quickly do the reducer since they're pretty simple here. So we're going to bring in, I guess right below here. So sign up success, sign up fail, activation success and activation fail. And then I can just go ahead and copy these so I can use them later. And then just like with these password resets, we're not going to be changing any state with these. So I'm just going to put them in to here, at least not with the um, activation. So activation success and case activation fail. So we're not going to do anything with the state in this case, but we are going to um, do it for the sign up. So I could put it right below here, I guess. So case sign up success. So if we have a sign up success, then we're going to return state. And then we're going to do is authenticated. And that's just going to be false since we don't want the user to be authenticated when we sign up only when we log in. And then for the sign up fail, that's just going to be the same as this here. So case sign up fail. Okay, and that's it for the reducers. Now let's go ahead and work on these actions. Okay, so first thing I want to do is bring these in. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on the sign up first. So let's go to where login is just going to copy it since sign up is going to be relatively similar to this. This one's going to be sign up. And then we're going to pass in the name, the email, the password and the re password. So these are the values we need. The config is going to be the same. This is going to be name, email, password and re password. There we go. And then as for the API request we're making, it's going to go to auth and then users. And then we're passing in the body and the config and this will create an account for us. And then we're going to have sign up success and sign up fail, which we're dispatching and then we don't want to dispatch this load user. So there we go. That's sign up. Now let's go ahead and create the verify, um, I guess, action here. So export const verify. We're passing in the UID and the token. We're doing an async dispatch. And then we're going to have the same config and I can do the body as well. You know what? I'm just going to copy all of this. Okay. Let's just paste that in here. So we're going to have UID and token here. And then as for the API request, we're going to have users slash activation and then make sure to have this slash at the end. So activation, that looks good. And then as for our dispatches, we're going to have activation success and activation fail. And we don't need any um, payload here. So it's just going to be a wait. It's going to be a post request and it's going to be to this endpoint here. So that looks good. Now let's go ahead and work on the rest of this. So we're going to have to open up where is it? So sign up and activate are going to be the um, two 
um, containers here that we're gonna work on. So let's start off with sign up. This one's gonna be kind of similar to login. So I'm just gonna copy all of the content within login here. And then just gonna paste it in here. And then we're just gonna make some changes. So this is gonna be whoop, sign up. So sign up, there we go. And then as for our imports, we're gonna have link, redirect, we're gonna have the connect helper, and instead of login, we're gonna have sign up. All right, so let's go ahead, bring in sign up here. We're gonna be calling sign up. We're gonna pass in a name, an email, a password, and a re-password. And then of course we have to bring that into our state. So name, email, password, and re-password. All right, there we go. And then once we do our sign up, actually something we also wanna do is make a check here. So if password is equal to re-password, then we're gonna do all of this here. Oh, what did I just do? Oh my God. Okay, so if this passed, then we're going to call this action. And then another thing I wanna do is have a sort of state that checks whether an account was created. So I'm just gonna have that here. So const account um, created set account created. This is gonna be use state and it's gonna be false by default. And then we're going to have in here set account created to true. All right, then as for this check here, we're gonna have if is authenticated, then we're gonna redirect here. Um, and then we can have, we can just make it an if, I guess. So if account created, then we want to return a redirect to login. So there we go. And now let's go ahead and work on this form. So first thing, instead of sign in, we wanna do sign up. And then we can do create your account. Then we're going to have above here, we're gonna have the name. So type is gonna be name. And then we can have name here. And then, oop, type's not gonna be name, type is gonna be text rather. And then we're gonna have the placeholder name, the name is name, values name, and it's required. And then we're gonna have our email. We can put an asterisk just cause asterisk makes the user know that this is a required field. This is gonna be the same. And then password here, it's gonna be the same. Again, I can have an asterisk here. And then we're just gonna need the, gonna have to grab all of this. And then this one's going to be our re-password. So the name's gonna be re-password. Placeholder can be, I guess like, confirm password, so confirm password, types password, and all of this looks good. Then we're gonna have sign up here. We can do like register. Then we're gonna have sign in. This is gonna go to login, and then this can be something like already have an account, so it's so already have an account, and then we don't want this here. Okay, then we're gonna wanna bring in is authenticated and we're gonna wanna bring in sign up here. So let's make sure we brought that in. So sign up here. Okay, so that should be good. So now we can sign up with an account and then we're also gonna have to do the verify. So let's open up activate here. And then as for activate, let's see, maybe I can grab the login. That one's kind of similar to activate, so. Just gonna grab login, paste that in here. This is gonna be activate. And then activate. And then instead of login, we're bringing verify. So if we open up our auth actions, so we're bringing in this, passing a new ID and a token. So that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna need link. We're only gonna need redirect here and the connect helper. 
and then I can bring in verify and then I'm gonna have I'm not gonna need any form data so I'm just gonna get rid of this and this this on change and then I'm gonna have at the top here const verified set verified so this is going to be a state to check whether we should redirect or not so i'm going to use that here so verified and then if we're verified we're going to go to the home and then instead of on submit i'm going to have verify account and then we're going to have let's see const uid we're gonna have to bring in match. So match.params.uid. We're also gonna need token. And then we're gonna call verify. Passing in the UID and the token. And then last thing I wanna do is just do set verified to true. All right, so now let's go ahead and tackle this area here. So we're not actually going to have a form. Um, we will have a container. And I guess I can just remove all of this here. So I'll start from fresh. I'm going to have a div with a class name of dflex. So we're using flexbox. We're going to have flex column. We're gonna have justify, and I'm just gonna do this here just so I don't get that annoying air thing. So justify content center and align items center. There we go. And then I guess I can also have a little bit of margin top. So I'll do margin, nah. I think I want to have a little bit more margin than what Bootstrap gives, so I'm just going to do a inline style here. I'm going to do 200 pixels. There you go. And then what I want to do is have an h1 tag here. It's going to say verify your account. And then I'm going to have a button. And then That button is going to say verify and as for what I need to bring in here, I'm going to have an on click. This is going to be verify account, which is that function we created. We're going to have a style margin top, let's say 50 pixels. And then type is going to be button class name button button primary. Okay, so that should be good. And then the last thing we don't need map state to props. So this can be null. And all we're bringing in is that verify. Ooh, verify, there we go. And this should be good. Let's see, so token is not defined. So that is right here. There we go. Now let's go ahead and build this and test it out. Okay, so that built, I'm just going to go ahead into my back end here and I'm going to do a python manage.py flush and this will just remove the data and what is this? Couldn't be flushed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to, I guess, drop the database and recreate it. So let's see, postgres. And then I'm going to do drop database and then auth system. That's going to drop the database. I'm just going to recreate a fresh one. So system owner postgres. There you go. So that'll give us a fresh new database with no data in it. So I'm going to have to recreate the accounts within there. So I can do npm run server here. Actually, I'm going to have to run the migrations again. So make migrations should be fine. Just I'll have to do migrate 
We're migrating to our new database. Now let's go ahead and run the server. So we're gonna go to port 8000. So now if I go ahead and log in, that account should no longer exist. So log in. And there we go, login failed. So we don't have this account anymore. So I have to recreate it now. So we're gonna go to sign up, name John Doe. All right, let's go ahead and register. And now we should receive an email here. So account activation on localhost 8000. So we have a link to click here. So we click that click on verify, let's check out the dispatch, activation success. So now I should be able to log into this. So log in and there we go, we're logged in. So our sign up works, our activation works. And there we go, we have a complete authentication system with password reset and account verification. And so I was thinking to make this the entire series and just end off right here. But I did get quite a few requests from you guys to show also how to do social um, authentication. So I'm actually going to be adding that into this um, application because I love you guys. And so if you wanna know how to do social authentication, I'm going to do that in the next section and you'll find out how to do just that. So hope you enjoyed the series so far. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and I'll see you in possibly the final section where we're going to implement social authentication. So see you then.